So if you're using a desktop PC, a Windows-based computer, like one of these fine machines that we have at the, at the uh, school, you use the alt codes to get accents. And I'll show you what I mean. You get alt codes by, in Microsoft Word, holding down the alt key on the keyboard and typing in a code on the number pad. So I'll show you. For example, one of the most common ones that you're going to need is E accent aigu. So again, I'm going to hold down the alt key and type one, three, zero on the number pad. Okay. Nothing happened because I haven't released alt yet. As soon as I release alt, E accent aigu. Okay. There is an entire list online. Here is a link of other alt codes for other accents. I'm going to include this link in the notes in the um, description underneath this video. And basically, what that does is it gives you takes you to a web page with the link of all of the accents and their codes. And once again, these are only this will only work on a on a desktop PC that has a number pad. Now, what if you're using a Windows laptop? It doesn't have a number key, a number pad. I've got an alt key, but I don't have a number pad. So you can't use alt codes on a laptop like this. This is very similar to all of the laptops here at the school as well. So there's an extra step that you have to do here. If you look down here at the bottom of the screen, there is a little keyboard icon. You click on that and you select, oops, where'd it go? And select Canadian French to put your keyboard into French mode. And then these keys over here on the end become your accent keys. So for example, right down here, the question mark key, press that to give you your E accent aigu. Okay. Next one is this one here. This gives you your other accent. What you do is you press it first. I didn't put anything on the screen yet. It's waiting for me to tell it what letter I want. So then I'm going to press E. And give me accent going the other way. I can also do that with A. So I'm going to press this button first. It's the uh, quotation mark button. Press that and then press A to give me my A with the accent. Okay. Other buttons on here, you might want the little hat, the little bracket button. Press that. And once again, I have to tell it what letter I want. So I'm going to press E, E with a hat on it. Okay. So these buttons are here. E accent aigu. The accent grave and the hat button. It's the way we get the accents on a laptop keyboard. But again, remember you have to put your keyboard into French mode by pressing the little keyboard icon on the screen. By far, one of the simplest and easiest ways to get accents has to be on an iPad, iPod, or other iDevice. It's really easy. If I want to type an E accent aigu, all I got to do is press and hold the E button and it gives me this little menu with all the possible accents. So I just slide my finger up until I get to the right one, and boom, there it is. And you can do that with any button that has accents, like C, for example, press and hold C. It gives me the different options. C with the say D, okay? So I want I with a hat on it. Really easy. Now finally, if you're fortunate enough to own one of these, this is a desktop Macintosh computer, well there's a whole other way to enter accents into your writing in French. So it's not quite as simple as using a, um, as a, using a device, but it's still pretty easy. And once again, it all focuses on the Alt key, okay? But it happens a little bit different. The way it goes is you hold down Alt and press E button to get an accent aigu. See if you can see it on the screen here. It hasn't actually entered in a letter yet. Back a 
So the next thing I have to do is tell it what letter I want to have the accent on you. Okay? And tell it that I want it on the E. There. So once again, what I did was I held down the Alt button, pressed E, release. It puts the accent on the screen, but it's waiting for me to tell it what letter I want. So then I hit E, and it pops up. Okay. Accent Grave is used with the tilde key up here underneath the escape. So once again, hold down Alt, hit tilde, puts the accent on the screen until I tell it what letter I want. So let's go with A. Okay. To get the hat accent, you use the I key. Hold down Alt, I, puts the accent on there, waiting for input, hit E, there you go. You also might want to do a, a CD. Hold down Alt, C, it automatically puts the CD on because in French the only letter that has a CD is a C. Okay? So that's how you put in accents on a desktop Macintosh computer. Interestingly enough, when you attach a Bluetooth keyboard to your iPad, the accents behave the same way they do on a desktop Macintosh computer. So you hold down Alt, then E, puts the accent in, and then fill in the blank with the letter. Alt, tilde. and the I button to get the hat. You can do any letter you want. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful as a way to get those accents in when you're typing French. Remember that accents are part of your spelling. If you're leaving them out, you are making spelling mistakes. So when you're typing your French, use these tips to put in your accents. And this segment of the video has been brought to you by Pampers! And Lightning McQueen. That's a rumpelsome bender.